Hey everybody, this is Rod Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're looking at TunnelBear VPN, uh, which is a really good app that serves two purposes. Um, the first being that it gives you a full-fledged uh, VPN tunnel for to, for a security VPN tunnel for when you're on a Wi-Fi network that's open. So if you're in a restaurant or wherever where you're just on a basic open Wi-Fi, anything that you do, if you go to any sites that require passwords or whatever, that data can is not encrypted and open to anybody who wants to steal it. So this serves. Uh, you know, you can set up your own VPN, but that's a real pain. This app will take care of that. You install it, connect to one of the um, the U.S. or the U.K. Let me show you that. The U.S. or the U.K. Uh, connection, and uh, you're you're in business, and you have a full-fledged uh, secure VPN that's encrypted with 128-bit, and nobody's going to get it. And of course, you have to just turn it on. This app couldn't be simpler. It's just those two controls. That is it. You decide which server you want, the U.S. or the U.K., on or off, done. When you're on, and we'll show you that in a little bit, the bear will be in a digging motion right now. Since, since we're not on, it's sleeping, as you can see. The other thing is they give you 500 megabytes of data for free at no charge uh, to go through this. And, of course, you don't need it all the time. You only need it when you when you need it, when you're on an open Wi-Fi. So most of the time you shouldn't need it. That's going to be a good amount for most people. But you can pick up another gigabyte for just tweeting about it. And you pick up, uh, so your total would be one and a half gigs for free. Now, there's another uh, purpose for this. And that is, and if you see here, there's two servers, US, UK. And depending on where you are in the world, whether you're in China, US, UK, Germany, wherever, you can connect to either server. Now, why would you want to connect to a different server? Well, that is to get things that you wouldn't normally be able to get. For example, if you are in the UK, you might not be able to listen to or get uh, Google Music. You might not be able to get Hulu or something like that. By connecting to the US server, you basically uh, as it, you act as if you are really in the US at the given time, even though you're physically in the UK. And then you can uh, get all the apps you not want that you wouldn't normally be able to get, and um, it works just like that. In the, on the U.S. side, there isn't as many uh, situations like that because obviously a lot is already available here. But I'm going to show you an example with the BBC. So I'm in the U.S. I'm going to connect to the U.K. server. But right now I'm not going to connect. I'm just going to go out and I'm going to go into the Play Store. And I actually I already searched for BBC iPlayer. Um, in here and you can see I just searched for just plain old BBC and I'm going to search for a BBC iPlayer and it doesn't even show up this is a generic BBC player um, but BBC iPlayer does not come up here now in order to do this uh, y there's a couple of things you might have to do uh, number one closing out fully closing out the Play Store for example either force closing it or doing it in ice cream sandwich or jelly bean, just swiping it away, basically takes away the history of of um, of where you're located. So you got to kind of do that to kind of reset things. The other thing that you might have to do is turn off your GPS. Now, right now I have it off. If you leave the GPS on, that also can conflict. So turn off your GPS and location services. Also, you might not have to. Every phone is different or tablet, but you know, I'm just letting you know what I found and what I needed to do. The other thing is some phones you might have to take out your SIM card if there is a SIM card. I uh, had a couple examples where that was the case and I know there's a lot of them where they don't have to. So you just got to try it uh, one way or the other and, and obviously try it with the SIM card in and if it doesn't work, take it out. Now I'm going to, uh, you can see, you could just tap here, you go to US or UK. I'm going to go to the UK server and I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on. And you can see it's connecting and once it's connected, I'm in and you can see um, the bear is to show you that you are connected as well as you get it up here this little uh, key uh, you can go right here and uh, deactivate it and of course you can see you're connected anyways and as you use data this will will drop now I am going to go into the Play Store 
and it's going to restart because I force closed it and I'm going to search for BBC iPlayer and it doesn't come up. Now here's the other thing I just did a couple times without it. There's one other thing that you can do if it has a problem and that's this is with the Play Store only is you go into apps and um, go into the um, uh, Play Store here and clear the data and then force stop it anyway and that's not a big deal if you clear the data then go in Again, sometimes it just has a little bit of data in there, so it really still thinks you're in the location that you were in uh, in any given time. So now I'm back in, I restarted it, and I will type in uh, BBC iPlayer, and there it is. It just came up. So you might have to go through that process. I'm actually glad that happened, just so you can kind of see what you might have to do. Um, on web on the browser it's the same thing you might have to force close it you don't have to clear data uh, but for, it does work with the browser as well so I'm gonna go in here to the BBC iPlayer and there it is which didn't show up before and I'm gonna go ahead and install it so it's letting me do that now the other thing is you might be asking yourself about speed will your speed slow down and the answer to that is yes but very slightly um, you can't really test it with speedtest.net or any of that because they try to find local servers so the only way to really test your speed is to download a sample file from something like cashfly that's a hundred megabyte file and kind of just see exactly what your what um, your download speed is i did that and i got ten point two down when i was downloading that and when i went on the server i was getting eight point seven down so it's about eighty uh, percent plus and that's exactly what you should get you should get seventy five to eighty percent of your speed and that was actually better so now i can open up the app and i'm in so i can pretty much you know click on any of these things and watch which I wouldn't normally be able to do unless I had um, oh I gotta do another uh, application that they want I thought that was the new one alright here's here's another okay so it looks like they had a new application again that one was not visible either so I'm actually doing this for the first time on on video here so um, I guess they must have had a replacement app from the old one. But either one uh, wasn't visible. So that will download there. Okay, we'll open it. Oops. Okay, launch. So I guess this launches the iPlayer, but you need that app as well. Okay, so they're saying it's 3G. Uh, you may get charged for data. Um, who cares? Right now, we're on Wi-Fi anyway. And of course, I'll be downloading data from obviously if you watch video uh, you will be experiencing uh, data this will come this will be taken from your data from tunnel bear so if you're going to watch a lot of video and use it for this type of reason you might need more data data is pretty cheap for these guys it's 2.99 a month for unlimited uh, uh, and so if you want to pay for a year and average it down to 250 a month, it's $29.99. So again, 1.5 gigs, depending on how much you need, or lousy $3 a month for unlimited. So that's uh, the video there. Not the greatest quality, but that's the BBC side of things. Not This has nothing to do uh, with Tunnel Bear. So it works perfectly, as you can see. And... We'll go back to Tunnel Bear, and of course you can go in here if you want to stop at any time, 
just go into your notifications, go in here, and you can say disconnect uh, right off the bat, you know, or do any other configuring. So, and it's telling me that I was on here for about five minutes and 50 seconds. Tells you how much data uh, was used at the time and all that good stuff. So, um, the other thing is, let's disconnect it. And let me just show you on the browser side of things, just to give you an example. Um, I'm going to go into the browser and I'm actually going to just close it. I was actually in the BBC. So now I'm going to open it up and search for BBC iPlayer. And you can see there, the, it opens up in the mobile platform, but if I go like this, we do not currently support it outside the United Kingdom. So you can see, I wouldn't be able to watch it. Now, this would bring me to the Play Store anyway to install the app. I'm not going to be watching it here. Uh, but you can see it doesn't work. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just close that out. Go back into Tunnel Bear and reconnect. Uh, when you connect, it asks me if I trust the application a lot of times. Last time, I don't think it did. This time it did. I clicked OK. OK, so we're connected now. So now I'm going to go back into Chrome and open up a new tab and I'm going to go BBC iPlayer. Of course we're going to get the same page again and this should work now. There you go. Now I have an opportunity to click play. I didn't have that before. So I'm going to click play. It wouldn't play in there anyway but it's going to tell me uh, oh actually it's playing because I have the application. Okay. I didn't have the application when I was doing some testing so it's opening up the app but what it would do is send you to the Play Store of which you can download the app so you can see there it is it works just fine obviously even the app will not work once you're not connected to the Tunnel Bear VPN and once I disconnect this and I try to go in to the Tunnel Bear VPN I'm sorry when I disconnect the Tunnel Bear VPN and I want to go into the iPlayer app when I click on one of these videos, um, this says strong language, <laughs> but doesn't matter. There you go, BBC iPlayer, only available within the United Kingdom. So once again, I connect to Tunnel Bear, then I'll be able to watch the video. So it's really good, and like I said, I also like it a lot because it also gives you a secure VPN for when you're in public. That's also very important. You can't beat this. This service is is really good and works really good. There might be a little issues with setup um, that I appreciate uh, with the SIM card and stuff, but other than that, you're going to be able to get what you need when you when you normally couldn't get it at all. And if you need a lot of data, it's not expensive. Uh, so for those of you who want to enjoy Hulu or Google Music for three dollars a month, that's really not bad at all when you're not able to get it anyway. So it's Tunnel Bear VPN. So definitely check it out. It's a free app that you can download and test yourself. And uh, you do, the, do the Twitter and get yourself another gigabyte. I haven't even done it yet. I'm going to go through that process. And uh, 1.5 gigs a month will give you um, a, a good amount to definitely test things out. So Tunnel Bear VPN, thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.